welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches to share with you from the Trip to Hogsmeade collection from my brand Pampered Polishes. This collection will go on sale August 24th, so in the description box below I will link my site, I will link both of my Instagram pages, uh, my business Instagram, and then my Instagram where you can see more swatches of this collection. So these will be available for $9.50 each or $62 for the set of seven. Two, this is very much in collaboration with Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90. If you don't know who she is, she's amazing. She does such beautiful swatches. She's such a nice, beautiful personality here on YouTube. I have thoroughly enjoyed working with her and she is a Harry Potter fiend, so there was nobody else who came to mind when I decided to start making another Harry Potter collection. All of her information will be linked in the description box below. You should check her out. Her Instagram page is awesome, but then her YouTube channel is... I love watching her. And my baby, the, the 10 month old, he is obsessed with her. Like if I put one of her videos on, he will just stop and stare. So anyway, I have seven Harry Potter inspired polishes to share with you today and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Zonko's Joke Shop and this is a deep oxblood red Crelly with red micro flakies, a couple different size platinum flakies, scattered hollow micro glitter, and holographic flakies. So here's our first coat of Zonko's Joke Shop. And these are all jelly polishes, so they do need to be built up. And I did that so you could still see all of those flakies and shiny things through the base without losing them. But I did make them as opaque as possible without hiding the glitters, if that makes any kind of sense. But again, I think this has a really good, really easy to work with formula. There's no running or pulling, and I didn't experience any staining with any of these, but we all do stain differently, so just bear that in mind. This is completely opaque in two coats for me. A third coat would deepen the color a little bit more, so if that's more your style, you could do a third coat of this. These do all dry down to a pretty matte finish, so if you don't like that, you will want a nice glossy top coat to finish these off. So there's two coats. Up next we have the three broomsticks in and this is a butternut squash yellowy orange crelly with gold micro flakies, a couple different size platinum flakies, a scattered hollow micro glitter, and holographic flakies. Here's our first coat of the three broomsticks in. In my opinion, this one also has a good formula. I didn't have any kind of running or pulling or staining with this one either. You do get a ton of flakies and those little micro shreds out without having to shake the bottle or hold it upside down or anything like that. So this is obviously sheer here on this first coat, so you will wanna build this up. For some reason in my video, I stopped at two coats, but I definitely did three coats for the swatch photo, so just bear that in mind. So here's our second coat, and like I said, this isn't going to be completely opaque in two coats, and I don't know why I stopped here. But this one also dries down to a pretty matte finish, so if you don't like that, you will want a glossy top coat. But a matte top coat will help those tiny micro flakies stand out even more if that's what you are going for. So there is two coats. Up next we have Shrieking Shack and this is an olive green crelly base with a couple different size platinum flakies, scattered hollow micro glitter, and holographic flakies. So here's our first coat of Shrieking Shack. So this one is still obviously pretty sheer here on this first coat and once again I did that just because with these darker base colors you're gonna have to make the base color more sheer so it doesn't hide all of those beautiful added elements and you lose them and there was really no point in putting them there in the first place so I wanted to avoid that by giving it more of a sheer jellyish base but these jellies do dry down matte. So here's our second coat and this builds up well in two coats but it is still a little bit patchy so I am gonna go in for a third coat but again I think these have good formulas no running or pulling or staining with this one either I didn't have any issues with like unevenness in the end, but once it's on these kind of between coats, they do look a little bit uneven. So here's our third coat, and this one does cover completely in three coats for me, and also across the board, none of these should dry textured and nothing in there should be difficult to remove or stick to your nail or anything like that, and that goes for everything across the board in this collection. 
And again, I didn't have any staining here, but I did have a couple people ask, so this might be a stainer for you. I do recommend using a base coat. So there is three coats. Next up we have Hogshead Inn, and this is a, an azure blue curly base with iridescent micro flakies, a couple size different platinum flakies, a scattered hollow micro glitter, and holographic flakies. Here's our first coat of Hogshead Inn. And just like the rest of these, this is pretty sheer here on this first coat, but it does have a good smooth formula. I did want these formulas to be a little bit on the thicker side because I didn't want them to have to run or pull or anything like that. They do self-level pretty well, but the thicker polish component makes it so it doesn't self-level completely, which is why it does look patchy, but it does build up where you don't have that patchiness in the end. So this builds up well in two coats and you could very well stop here, but I am gonna go in for a third coat just to make everything look nice and even and give as much depth and sparkle as possible. Again, I didn't have any kind of staining with this one, but if blues tends to stain you, bear in mind to wear a base coat. So here is our third coat, and this one does cover completely in three coats for me. Again, it doesn't dry the glossiest, so you will want a nice glossy top coat, but nothing in here dries textured. Nothing in here is gonna be hard to remove, so you should just be able to use a nice thin coat of a top coat. So there's three coats. Up next we have Honey Dukes, and this is a dusty lavender crelly with iridescent micro flakies, a couple different size platinum flakies, scattered hollow micro glitter, and holographic flakies. So here's our first coat of Honey Dukes. And this one is very sheer here on this first coat. I did want this one to be more of a light, delicate shade, so it it is a lighter shade. They are going to have to be built up. But again, I think the formula on here is absolutely marvelous. And this is a purple that I absolutely love. So here's our second coat. And this does start to build up well in two coats, but it's not completely opaque. So I am going to go in for a third coat. Again, you get a ton of flakies out without having to do any shaking or holding the bottle upside down or anything like that. And nothing in here is going to dry textured, so when you do use that glossy top coat, it's just to get rid of the matte finish instead of trying to smooth everything out. This does cover completely in three coats for me. Nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove. You shouldn't have to use a peel-off base coat, and you shouldn't have to do any kind of scrubbing with this either. So there is three coats. Up next we have Glad Rags Wizard Wear and this is a light dusty pink crelly with a couple different size platinum flakies, a scattered hollow micro glitter, and holographic flakies. Here's our first coat of Glad Rags Wizard Wear. And this is a lighter polish, so again it's a bit on the sheer side, but this is one that is easily buildable in just two coats. I don't know why, but I was able to get this more on the opaque side than on the jelly side. So here's our second coat, and like I said, this does cover completely in two coats, and again, it dries down to that matte finish that all of these have, but nothing in here is going to dry textured, so that glossy top coat that you add on later is going to just bring a shine out instead of trying to hide any kind of texture from any glitter, and nothing in here is going to be hard to take off your nails. So there is two coats. And then to finish us off, we have Secret Passageway, and this is a flaky topper and a clear base. This has seven different Ultra Chrome Chameleon flakies. It also has platinum silver flakies, iridescent flakies, and a touch of a scattered hollow. So here is one coat of Secret Passageway. I'm layering it over black, white, uh, like a turquoisey, Tiffany blue kind of shade, and then the terracotta. I'll leave all of these polishes in the description box below, but I think you get a good distribution of flakies without having to do anything special, and nothing in here dries textured or is hard to remove either. So there's one coat. So while I don't like picking favorites from my collections, there were a couple that stood out to me. The first one being Glad Rags Wizard Wear. 
I just gravitate toward, I'm, I'm actually wearing it today, I just gravitate towards pinks in general. Um, this one is very flattering on me. It's one of the first ones that I made for the collection and I thoroughly love it. And the other two won't come as a surprise at all. So Shrieking Shack, it's an olive green. It's got the flakies. It's just obvious. And then the other one being the Three Broomsticks Inn. Um, I love these kind of butternut squashy yellows in the fall time. It's very flattering on me. I find this kind of yellowy orange color is very flattering on a lot of people, a lot of skin tones. So I really, really like this one too. Of course, I wouldn't put them out if I didn't thoroughly enjoy all of them, but those are the colors in the collection that I gravitate towards the most. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this collection. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.